said that migrants are responsible for some crime here in the city. So I just want to be very clear. Do you believe that migrants are committing crime here in the city? And what data are you using to back that up? Do I, do I believe that there are some migrants who are committing crimes in the city? Yes. Yes. Um, there are people who are committing crimes in all walks of life. Um, it's not just migrants and asylum seekers. Um, I think that we have a number of migrants who have committed crimes. Uh, we have a number of non-migrants who have committed crimes. And so I do not want to walk away with anyone saying uh, that the GLA increase we saw in the city was just migrants. No, it's not. It was long-term New Yorkers who committed GLAs also. But are there some crimes that migrants have committed? Yes, they, they are. But remember what I said last week. You place a person in an environment where they can't work, can't provide for themselves, they have to just sit around all day, that's not a good scenario. That's not a good scenario. And that is what we need to focus on. What environment are we creating in these cities? Well, if, I, if, if, if uh, um, there was, a, there was a, a robbery pattern, for instance, that uh, when we looked at it, we identified that robbery pattern. Um, there were uh, some migrants that participated in that robbery pattern. You know, every robbery pattern we have in the city is not, is not done by migrants. But we identified that this was a robbery pattern, and there were migrants who participated in that robbery pattern.